This is performing under pressure. In a battle situation, it's essential for personnel to remain in control and aware of everything that's going on around them. How a person responds in a high-pressure situation is largely down to training, both physical and mental. The military have it mastered, and now top athletes are learning lessons from them. Take a look at these balls. Keep track of the red ones, which will turn yellow. This is a program called NeuroTracker. It's been used by the US military to help soldiers track several targets at one time. The training system is also being used by some top-flight football clubs, apparently including Manchester United. Increasing players' peripheral vision and power of concentration can give one team the edge over another. This type of brain training isn't limited to NeuroTracker. When your heart's beating and you're feeling the pressure and the nerves, that doesn't have to stop you performing at your best. But what you do have to be able to do is control aspects of your mind to, to focus on what's important. Uh, and that comes with practice like anything else. There are programmes that can help you interpret your body's responses to stressful situations and techniques that can help you control them. So what I want you to do, Claire, is just pop this on your earlobe, if that's OK. Mm -hmm. And then there's a small clip there to keep it in place. So this is a great way of measuring, uh, effectively, people's heart rhythms. But mm. their heart rhythms give us a great indication as to what else is going on in their nervous system. Um, and indeed, uh, their brain as well. So uh, it's measuring your heart rate there, which we see about 70 beats per minute, which is maybe a little bit quicker than resting uh, heart rate, but uh, that's natural because mm. you don't know what we're doing and there's that <laughs> anticipation. On my ear. Exactly. Keeping your body in a coherent state or your nerves in check means you can make better decisions and perform consistently at your best. So what's more useful to us is heart rate variance up here because this gives us an indication as to how quickly your heart's speeding up and slowing down mm. and therefore how you're responding to the environment. We can see here that actually you're, you've got a quite natural state of coherence uh, already, but it probably wouldn't be very difficult to, uh, to change that if I got you to sing a song, for example, or do something <laughs> that felt uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and that would typically affect your heart rate variance and therefore indirectly affect your concentration ability to focus. <laughs> The ability to remain calm and concentrate when competing at the top level is essential. Lizzie Yarnold, who won gold in the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics, worked hard with Charlie in the run-up to the competition, learning to understand and control her body's responses to stress. One of the things we used in order to do this was uh, firstly building up a clear framework for performance. Uh, routines are really important in this and there's a really nice link there back with the military because what the military do so brilliantly are routines, standard operating procedures and everyone kind of knows what they're doing and how that works. So that forms almost a priming process for the performance and then for the performance itself we can work on aspects such as visualisation uh, and helping the minds uh, almost, uh, almost priming the, the pathways in the mind that allow you to perform at your best. The benefit in battle is obvious, and it's not just intuitive. Courses of brain training help the civilians improve their performance. Claire Sadler, Forces News.